Hi everybody, this is uh, your Dr. Bitlavenu. In this session, we will see some more examples on development of surfaces. In our last session, we have seen the introduction part of development of surfaces. Along with the introduction and procedure to develop the surfaces of the engineering solids, we are also discussed the example problems. But now in this session, we will take some more examples and we will try to develop the surfaces of these solids. Now, uh, after taking these some examples, we will uh, take some different examples uh, in this session. Now, let me move further to see an example. Uh, now, let me take this. I read out the problem. A hexagonal prism, 30 mm base side and 50 mm axis. So now let me take the pointer here now. So 55 mm axis is uh, uh, lying on HP, lying on HP on its rectangular face with apex parallel to, uh, let me take axis, okay, axis parallel to VP, a hexagonal prism 30 mm base side and 55 mm axis is lying on HP such that its rectangular face with axis parallel to VP. Okay, so the axis of this hexagonal prism is parallel to VP and one of the rectangular face is lying on HP. It is cut by a section plane normal to HP and inclined to 30 degrees and inclined to 30 degrees to VP bisecting the axis. So this hexagonal prism is lying on horizontal plane such that one of the rectangular faces is lying on the horizontal plane and its axis is parallel to its axis is parallel to VP and one section plane is cutting this hexagonal prism such that the axis the cutting plane the cutting plane is inclined to 30 degrees to VP and it is bisecting the axis in these conditions. So he's asking to draw the views, sectional views, true shape and development. This is what the problem. So let me uh, take that. Let me draw the, assuming that the component is on uh, lying on, the base is lying on horizontal plane first. So in those conditions, First draw X, Y line, then draw the top view. So assuming that one of the uh, top or bottom face they are similar in this case. So uh, lying on horizontal plane. So we need to draw the top view first. So these are the hexagonal prism and this will be the top view, will be the true shape. Then name all the corners. So A to F like this, A, B, C, D, E, F. Then project all those points to draw the front view of the hexagonal pyramid like this. Now, uh, this will become <coughs> A dash B dash. This corner will become A dash B dash and this will become C dash F dash. And this will become D dash E dash like this. Then, in this problem, it is mentioned that one of the rectangular face is lying on the horizontal plane. So these two views are such that the one of the uh, top or bottom face is similar in this case is lying on horizontal plane. So this is the top view and this is the front view. So now in the problem, in actual problem, in the problem, the condition is one of the rectangular face of this hexagonal prism is lying on the horizontal plane such that its axis is parallel to VP. So one of the rectangular face of this hexagonal prism should lie on this horizontal plane. That means on the XY line. So we need to draw that. So take the compass uh, or take the compass and you get the height, get the height, then draw the rectangle such that it is uh, one of the rectangular faces lying on horizontal plane. It looks like this. Now, so name all those points name all those points and this will become a dash b dash when you twist it like this so a dash b dash and uh, a b c d e f uh, dash okay so now 
project all the corners down then project the top view uh, projectors from the top view of the uh, like this and name all those points so a b c d e f like this then project all those points projectors then in the actual condition in the problem the first condition is the rectangular face is lying on hp such that its axis is parallel to bp the second condition is the second condition is and a section plane so this hexagonal prism is sectioned by a plane such that the section plane is inclined to 30 degrees to VP then. Inclined to 30 degrees to VP. So now you can see here I am drawing a line below the XY line at an angle of 30 degrees. So which is making, which is doing the section for the, uh, in this first condition. The first condition is it is lying on the rectangular plane such that it is lying on the horizontal plane. Uh, one of the rectangular faces lying on the horizontal plane. Okay. So now the second condition is, so it is sectioned at an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical plane. So that means the section plane is making an angle 30 degrees with the vertical plane. It looks like this. So now uh, in this case, it is uh, making the sections. As you can see here, name all those points. So name all those points like this. Okay. So now you will get at this corner, name all those points like this. One, two, and three, four. It is doing this corner and at this location. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So at all uh, locations. So now project all those points top. So exactly these two points. So wherever this edge and the section plane is intersecting at this location. So at that case, now you can see here exactly you can find you move all those points top. So now you will get intersection point here, intersection point here, intersection point here. Okay. So now to get the corners exactly at this location and at this location we need to get the points. So to get these one, two and five, six points. So three, eight you got. Okay, four, seven we got. So now the thing is that so to locate that, so now you project these points. So one, two and five, six. To the top view then 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 so you will get four points here so these two points and these two points and you project these points top so you will get these two points and these two points so these four points and take the compass take the compass and locate these two points here so so these two will be here and these two will be these two points so with the help of the compass and locate these two points on this side and on this side and this side also you have two points here. So these here you will get two points and here you will get two points and project these four points onto the top view. Uh, then project these four points to the front view. Then take the compass and locate these two points. So now these points will become one, two and and this will become 5, 6, as you can see here. So 1, 2, and 5, 6. So 3, 4, as you can see here. Um, then 7, 8. 7, 8 exactly lies here. Okay. 7, 8 is the bottom. Okay. So now, uh, when you see from the front, so this, this lies at, at the bottom. So now, join these two, join all those points. So like this, join all these points like this. So this will be the front view of the hexagonal prism when it is sectioned by the plane such that it is making an angle 30 degrees with the vertical plane. It looks like this. This is the sectional front view, sectional front view and this will be the sectional top view. Now, uh, now the other is the true shape we need to draw. So draw x, y, x dash y dash line parallel to the sectioned plane like this at a convenient distance. So draw an x1, y1 line at a at a convenient distance from the section plane. So now take the compass. So now take the compass. Okay. So 
locate seven eight points here locate seven eight points take the compass and locate seven eight points then take the compass and uh, get one point then two point then six point then five four three then two so then join all those points will give you the true shape of the section right, section surface okay so this is exactly the true shape uh, when it is sectioned by the plane which is at an angle of 30 degrees to the vertical plane okay. so now this will be the true shape and this will be the sectional front view and this will be the top view it is not sectional top view it is a top view simple top view by applying two conditions okay one is the one of the rectangular face is lying on hp and that object is sectioned by a uh, section plane at an angle of 30 degrees to the vertical plane now the other thing is that we need to draw the uh, develop the surface okay true shape is over here then we need to draw the we need to develop the surface so to develop the surface first you unwrap all these uh, uh, hexagonal prism so you have the length of the length of the side and height is known to you so 30 mm base side and 50 mm height so just you six rectangles you can draw here so c to c so now we are unwrapping this so from c to c so c b c d then e f a b faces i'm drawing like this okay so now after drawing all those then indicate all those points okay so c exactly lies here c exactly at this location itself then get all those points so d c is over next uh, take the compass okay then uh, we need to indicate c is over of course c is over then d we need to indicate right so d we can see here d here okay then uh, d and b are same as you can see here d and b are same here so take this height take this height c exactly you will get here then b and d you can get this height here okay so b1 d1 you can see here take the compass get this distance and locate this point and this point then take the compass then a e we need to indicate take the compass and this distance take this distance in the compass and locate these two points on the uh, surface then take the compass and then f take this distance then get the location okay so now join all those points so we'll give you the development of the surface of the hexagonal prism where it is sectioned by the plane at an angle of 30 degrees to the vertical plane and one of the rectangular face is lying on the horizontal plane so now this is what the problem and then let me take one more problem so these lines should be drawn before developing of course then let me take one more problem okay now here is a problem then uh, hide all the uh, floating controls so a solid composed of a half cone and half hexagonal pyramid half cone and hexagonal pyramid is shown in the figure of course half cone and uh, figure it is cut by a section plane 45 degrees inclined to hp 45 degrees inclined to hp passing through midpoint Passing the midpoint, Nani, so passing the midpoint that is what given. So the a section plane is cut by a section plane of 45 degrees inclined to HP, as you can see here. This is inclined to horizontal plane okay at an angle of 45 degrees so passing to the midpoint as you can see here passing to the midpoint draw the front view sectional top view true shape of the section and 
development of remaining part of the solid. This is what the problem. So in this case, we have half hexagon and half cone. Half hexagon and half cone. Hexagonal pyramid, so half hexagon, half cone and half hexagonal pyramid. So now you can see here, sorry, it looks like this. It looks like this. So now half cone and uh, draw the XY line, then half cone and uh, the side, assume some side here, assume uh, your convenient side. So then complete the cone like this. And basically this pro this will be given to you. This uh, problem will be given to you. This figure will be given to you. So then um, project all these upwards, project all these upwards. So then, then uh, get the height. So take some convenient height and section this half cone and half hexagonal pyramid with a section plane at an angle of 45 degrees from H. So now after doing the section, I name Now after doing section, as you can see here, after doing section, so after doing section, uh, half cone and half hexagonal pyramid. So indicate all the projectors, uh, the generators here. So D dash, E dash, so C dash, F dash, and G dash, P dash, then at E also. Okay. So now I name the points here, one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash like this. So one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven. Name all those points here. Okay. So, and project all these points downwards. Okay. So project all these points downwards like this. And so D and E we have here. D and E here. So now you project downwards here. So at E, so that will intersect here. So at D, at, that will intersect here. Okay. So now name this point as one and name this point as seven. Now take this and project this two and six downwards. So to draw this or to locate this point on this line, so draw a horizontal line here, then you come down, take the radius, take the radius, okay, take the radius and this as center, draw an arc here, so that will intersect it here and that will intersect here as you can see here so two is projected this words or this words okay so now it is projected here then taking the radius taking this point and this point as radius and draw the arc which will intersect at two and six here so after locating two and six points so then you come down so one you are located here and seven you are located here so these are the edges that you can see here this is the hexagonal uh, pyramid edge and this is one hexagonal pyramid and this is sectioned at this location that means exactly uh, sectioned at this location this is what the concept so now i'm projecting one dash and seven dash downwards so seven will intersect here and similarly at one so name here so at d edge at d edge so that will intersect one dash at e edge that will intersect at seven, one and seven. So now six and two we have seen. Then we need to locate the, we have one generator here and we have one generator here and we have one more generator here. So to that, so project all these points downwards. So four you project down. So you will get four you project down, you will get four point. Uh, so that is on A as you can see here. This is the A line. So that we will get here. Next three you project down. So three is exactly the B point. Okay. So we will have, so that will be intersected here. Then five you come down. So that will be going to intersect G line at this location. So now join all these points. So join all these points. So these points you join as a curve and these points you join as a straight line, which gives us the sectional top view in these conditions. Okay, so the figure is half 
hexagonal pyramid and half half cone okay half cone and half hexagonal pyramid is attached together and it is sectioned by the plane at an angle of 45 degrees uh, which is bisecting the axis like this in these conditions so this will be the sectional top so now uh, the other part of this problem is we need to draw the uh, true shape to draw the true shape so draw a line which is parallel to section plane at a convenient distance so then take the compass take the compass so from here so from this point to take the compass from here to here so locate this distance now take the compass so here and here so locate one point so now take the compass and from here to here so get six point and from here to here and locate point two and similarly locate all these points so project here so project draw the projectors first so on which you locate 0 0.7 0 0.1 then 6 2 then 3 4 5 like this so after locating all these points then join all these points so on the cone on this side so join all these points as a smooth curve and on the left side of this line so join as a straight line which gives us the true shape of the section surface okay so now oh, the other part the remaining part of this problem is to develop the surface now calculate uh, the half cone uh, sector angle then uh, divide that so that is cb as you can see here um, we have under so a so a b c b e f g and e so we are unwrapping at a so uh, ag and uh, gf ag and gf okay ag gf and bc will become the part of the cone of course so now name all those and uh, calculate the angle draw the sector half of the uh, uh, sector angle assuming that it is a full cone so now it is a half cone so draw this one and we have the faces here so with the faces side and draw this uh, triangular faces then take the compass o dash 4 dash on the oa line so take o as center locate four point as you can see here now now take the compass take the compass so um, take the distance so that is uh, o and uh, o and 3 O in 3 okay then locate this point now take the compass so O2 then locate 2 point okay on the C line as you can see here C O C line O dash C dash so this will become O C now similarly D E F and complete all these uh, which gives us the development of the surface now let me move further let me move further to take one more problem draw a semicircle of 100 mm diameter and inscribe in it a largest circle if the semicircle is development of the cone and inscribed circle is some curve on it then draw the projections of the cone showing that curve okay so i read out the problem once again draw the draw a semicircle of 100 mm diameter and inscribe a largest circuit which will fit in, in, in the semicircle of 100 mm diameter. If the semicircle will be the development of the cone and inscribed circle is some curve on it, then draw the projections of the cone showing that curve. So now let us draw the in this case, in this case, he is given the uh, uh, we need to draw the principal views, principal views from given development development is given to us so from looking into the development we need to draw the projections that is what this is reverse to the previous problem so by looking into the projections we have developed a surface but now in this case by looking into the development we need to draw the projections this is what the concept of the problem so now draw the semicircle first 
so with 100 mm diameter in this problem then inscribe one circle with the maximum possible diameter that means so take the midpoint so take the midpoint and taking this as a diameter and draw a circle which will become the uh, circle circle which is inscribed inside the semicircle of 100 mm diameter so now uh, this will become the slant length so the half of this diameter of this half circle will become semicircle will become the slant length so now uh, divide this into the convenient equal number of divisions say in this case i am dividing eight equal divisions one two three four five six seven and eight equal divisions okay so now calculate now this angle is 180 now this angle is 180 so this is exactly the curve when we are drawing the projections okay so this will become curve and this will become the slant line so now the angle is 180 so now we have but we require so after drawing the uh, circle so now after drawing the uh, generators after drawing the generators so these will become these lines oa to uh, oh and oa will become the generators of the cone so now after drawing the uh, circle after inscribing the circle maximum with the maximum possible diameter so all this circle will intersect the generators at different locations so i am naming those generators as one to seven like this so this circle inscribed circle is uh, intersecting the generators at different locations so i'm naming all those points as 1 to 8 or 1 to 7 and this will become the final line so now now calculate the base diameter of the cone that is what we don't know we know the angle we need the angle we know the slant length oa will become the slant length and uh, L we have, theta we have, then we need to calculate the base radius of the cone. So theta is equal to R by L into 360. This is what the formula to calculate. So, uh, so substitute L value and theta value in this case, theta value is 180 and you take this length, substitute, we will get R. So after calculating the radius R, now, so draw the top view first, draw the top view first to develop or to draw the projections of the cone so then divide this into convenient equal double, uh, equal number of divisions say in this case it is eight so i'm naming all those uh, generators as a to h like this then project those generators on the xy line to draw the front view then get the height okay so here so take this draw a line here draw a vertical line here take the slant length and intersect here you will get the apex so you know the slant length this slant length is known to us okay so oh, just from here and this point is also known to you and project this line and you will get an intersection point so then join this as a triangle okay so then this point and this point and this point this point and uh, name all those points here so this will become a and this line is b and at the back exactly we have h dash so name all these uh, generators as a b c d and e f g h so on the back side we have the generators as you can see a front side a b c d e you can see and naming those points as a dash to e dash on the back side you have f g f dash g dash and h dash okay so after drawing the generators okay now we need to Take the compass and O1 as radius with O as cent center. Okay, with O dash as center and get the point. Okay, first point we will have here itself. Then look at so B line, so called B dash is here. So now on the B dash, O dash B dash line, take the compass O1 as radius and get the point like this. So we'll get a point now take the compass and o2 as radius with o dash as center so intersect the c line so on c this is exactly the vertical line you will get one more point here now take the compass o3 as radius with o dash as a center okay 
so then get the intersect this line you will get a point so that will become three now o e as radius with o dash as center you will get e dash point exactly at this corner itself similarly so so join all these points so you will get all these points exactly this side also similar okay so two and six will coincide here as you can see here same point we will get here then uh, one and seven same we will get same points exactly at this location itself we will get that point will be the back side so one will be front side and similarly two will be front side two dash will be front front side point and six dash will be the back side point on the generator then similarly three dash five dash and uh, four dash as you can see here. join those points as a smooth curve so which gives us the uh, curve on the front view now you project all these points downwards okay so you come down one so this is one and seven on the generators b and h as you can see here b and h so now you come down so b intersect so b line b generator will be intersected at this point h will be intersected at this location h generator and b generator so now you come down you will get one more point here okay this will become d and f d will be intersected here and f will be intersected here so now to draw the two dash and three dash so just you drop a draw a horizontal line and then you come down then you come down and take this as radius this as center and get the points so get the points okay these two points so this as radius so then you come down drop a line from this point up to a e a e up to o a up to o a drop a line here and get this distance so somewhere it is going to intersect when you drop a line from this point and o and that intersection point has radius with o as center and locate this point and this point okay. so now locate all these points as i said just now one and seven so one and seven you come down one and seven you come down so on the h so that will be intersected here and the b that will be intersected here so okay so just you come down on the h generator so you will get one point on the b generator because these two points are with respect to the r belongs to b dash and h dash i'm coming down and i'm locating these points so finally you will get one more point at o okay so then join all those points join all those points will get one shape and uh, this will be the curve when we see from the top okay so this is what the procedure to draw or to develop the views from the development surface from the development of surface we have drawn the views of the solid now let me take one more problem let me take one draw a semicircle of 100 mm diameter and and inscribe in it a largest rhombus okay so if the semicircle is development of the cone and rhombus is some curve on it then draw the projections of the cone showing that curve this is what the problem so in this case also previous problem and this problem is similar but in this case the rhombus needs to be inscribed so the maximum size of the rhombus rhombus needs to be the inscribed inside the semicircle of diameter 100 mm so now draw a rhombus like this draw a rhombus and uh, and you drop a vertical line here and take the compass and intersect here intersect here so join join all these points will give you the rhombus then after then uh, divide this into convenient equal divisions then uh, draw the generators so these are the generator lines so then name all those generators so from a to a like this then this rhombus is going to intersect the generators at different locations as you can see here okay so this generator is intersecting here 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 and exactly at this location also here also so draw x y line calculate so before drawing this circle then calculate the base of the radius now first first base of the 
radius of the cone we have to calculate. So slant length is known to us, theta is 180, substitute all the values, then get the base radius, then divide this. So with this, with that radius, then draw a circle below to the xy line, which will become the top view of the cone. Now divide this into a convenient equal number of divisions, then uh, indicate all those points, name all those points as A to H, and those will become the generators. Okay. So now project all those points onto the xy line like this. Then uh, the height is, uh, okay. so height will become, so okay, draw a vertical line here, then take the compass, OE as radius, and this point as center, and intersect the vertical line, which is drawn exactly at G. So that will become the apex. Then locate all the generators like here, like, like, like this, A dash, to H dash. So A, B, C, D, E is front side and uh, F, G, H will be the points or the generators which are back side to the cone. So now, oh, okay, this will become O dash and take the compass, take the compass as I said here. So this rhombus is going to intersect at different locations, one to seven. So like this and take the compass so O1 as radius with O as center, okay, with O as center. So exactly, uh, you will get one, one point exactly here itself, okay. A exactly we will get there itself. So now uh, take the compass, take the compass and uh, locate all the points. Locate the points like this, like we did in the previous case. Okay, so get the points first on the generators. Okay, so to uh, which is not shown here. Okay, so exactly. Uh, so one and seven you will get here. Now you take this compass. So O one as radius with O as center. One and seven exactly you will get here at B point itself. Okay, so wherever we get, so take that, get that point. So that will become one and seven, as you can see here. Next, take the compass, so O2 as radius. So with O dash as center, get this point. So these two points are two dash, six dash. Next, next uh, OE as radius, okay, OE as radius. And the intercept exactly E point will be at this location. Next, similarly, F also, okay, so take O, O5 as radius with O dash as center. So get three dash and five dash points. So now project all these points downwards, get the different locations, points. So now join all those points in the front and top. So gives us the curve of the rhombus when we see from the top and bottom. Okay. So now let me move further to take one more problem, a half cone of 50 mm base diameter 70 mm axis is standing on its half base on HP with its flat face near, with its flat face parallel and near to VP. Okay. So an inextensible string is wound around its surface from one point of base circle and brought back to the same point. If the string is of shortest length, find it and show it on the projections of the cone. So a half cone of 50 mm base diameter, 70 mm axis is standing on it, on its half base on HP, with its flat face parallel and near to VP. Okay. So the flat face of the cone, half cone is looking into the side of the vertical plane. Okay. Uh, an inextensible string is wound around its surface and from one point of the base circle and brought back to the same point. If the string is shortest length, find it and show it on the projections of the cone. First, we need to draw the projections. Okay, so then um, draw the half cone, half cone like this, then locate or indicate the generators and then project all those generators on the XY line. Okay, 
then a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash a b c d e of course then these are the generators then uh, for half cone for half cone develop the surface like this for half cone develop the surface then get all those points name all those points as a b c d e and a because we have one more face here okay so one more length here that's what, that will become the north side a and e of course back side face then uh, so this length exactly a e will be this okay so then join a and a then join a and a will be the minimum length of the string so okay unstretchable string so this will be the shortest length so now this shortest length line is going to intersect all these generators at different locations one two three four then take the compass so take the compass and oa take oa distance with o dash as center locate this point then o1 as take this height in the compass with o dash as center get the point on b dash like this okay and similarly o2 o3 o4 also indicate on the generators on c dash d dash and e dash like this now join all those points to get the smooth curve of course we are going to join those points after getting the points on the top view so now so project these points downwards okay you will get one point here so now project this point okay so project this point here you will get one more point then project this point so to draw or to get this point first you draw a horizontal line so draw a horizontal line then drop a line here so draw a horizontal line okay so then drop a line here then drop a line here so that will intersect at this location so then this as radius so o and this as radius so draw a line and drop a line here so you will get radius and this as radius this intersection point and o as radius with o as center and get this point and drop this point here downwards you will get one more point here and similarly and drop this line so you will get one more point here then join all those points like this and join these points one two three four like this this is the curve so this line uh, shows this line shows the shortest length of the string so unstretchable string when it is wound around the cone half cone from starting point to end point it looks like this so this length is the shortest length okay. so now let me take one more pro problem a particle which is initially on the base circle of the cone standing on hp moves upwards and reaches apex in one complete turn around the cone okay. so draw its path on projections of the cone as well as its development so take base diameter as 50 and axis 17 i repeat this problem a particle which is initially on the base circle of the cone okay standing on the hp a cone is standing on hp so there is one point on the there is one point initially on the base circle a particle which is initially on the base circle of the cone standing on hp so moves upwards this particle is moving upwards towards the apex so when we rotate the cone for one complete revolution one complete turn around the cone so draw its path on projections of the cone as well as on its development so we need to show the path of this point on the development and as well as the cone projections now let me draw the projections first okay so now this will be the cone then name the generators from a to h project the generators onto the xy line to draw the front view and get the height so that is 70 mm 
and take the compass, lo locate the apex point, then name all the generators, front and back side, so which are A dash to H dash, A, B, C, D, E will be the front side generators, then F, G, H will be the back side generators, okay. So now, this, locate this, then develop the surface, develop the surface first, okay. Now divide this, now divide this slant length into the equal number of divisions that we have done in the case of top view. So the top view is divided into eight equal divisions, right? So now those same number of divisions must be divided. This slant must be divided uh, as that we have done in top view. Okay. So now after dividing this slant into the equal number of divisions that we have done on the top view, so from A to H, similarly in this case also A, then A and A will be intersected here. H and H will be intersected at some location, H. Okay. So then we will get one point here. Okay. Then one, two and three you will get here, three. Then F you will get here. Then E you will get here. So look at all those points like this. So join all these points as a smooth curve. And from here, it, we cannot see this curve status because this point is moving backward so that we are indicating this line as a dotted line. So then to show the trace of the point, then you come down, okay, then you come down and look at all these points downwards and join all those points as a smooth curve. So to get the curve like this on the top also. So now develop the surface, take the compass and locate all these points. Take the compass and locate all these points and the generators from A to E. Like this, then join all those points. So it will give us the curve on the development. So this is how we need to develop the views and show the curves on the front view, top view and also on the generator. This is what the problem. Thank you. And we will see some more problems in this chapter or uh, I will move forward to discuss the other problems or the new chapter.